What if the past refused to stay buried? What if the haunting memories of your worst moment, one you'd do anything to forget, came back to life? Hello, book foxes. Welcome back to At The Book Fox Summaries, keeping books simplified for your busy life, one summary at a time. Today we're diving into Beloved by Toni Morrison, published in 1987. This haunting novel won the Pulitzer Prize for fiction and is widely considered one of the greatest works of American literature. Morrison explores the devastating impact of slavery on a family and how the ghost of the past, quite literally, comes back to claim what was lost. Set in the years after the Civil War, Beloved follows the story of Seth, a mother haunted by her decision to save her daughter from slavery through an unimaginable act. But as Morrison so powerfully illustrates, the past never truly stays in the past. At the heart of Beloved is Seth, a formerly enslaved woman living in Ohio with her daughter Denver. Seth's home at 124 Bluestone Road is haunted, not just by memories, but by the actual spirit of her dead daughter, Beloved. The novel begins when Paul D., a man who was enslaved alongside Seth at Sweet Home, arrives at her house. His presence stirs up repressed memories of their time in bondage and the horrific events that followed. Soon after Paul D.'s arrival, a mysterious young woman appears at Seth's doorstep, calling herself Beloved. Seth becomes convinced that this is the reincarnation of her lost child, back from the dead. As the story unfolds, Seth, Paul D., and Denver must confront their past traumas, the horrors of slavery, and what it means to move forward. Seth. The heart of the story is a mother who fiercely loves her children. Her love leads her to make an unimaginable sacrifice, to kill her own daughter, to save her from the horrors of slavery. Seth's pain and guilt are palpable throughout the novel, and her struggle to come to terms with her actions is central to the plot. Beloved, the mysterious figure who may or may not be Sethi's dead daughter returned from the grave. Beloved is symbolic of Sethi's unresolved trauma and guilt, becoming a physical manifestation of the past she cannot escape. Denver. Seth's surviving daughter. At first Denver is isolated and withdrawn but over the course of the novel, she grows into her own person, finding strength in the face of adversity. Paul D., another former slave from Sweet Home who rekindles a relationship with Seth. He represents the lingering trauma that all formerly enslaved people carry, as he too grapples with his past and the brutalities he endured. Beloved is rich in themes that resonate long after the story ends. Let's take a closer look at some of the most powerful ones, memory and trauma. The past isn't just something you can leave behind. For Seth, her memories of Sweet Home and her horrific act of infanticide haunt her every day. Through Beloved, these memories become tangible, demanding to be faced. Motherhood and sacrifice. Seth's love for her children is fierce and protective, but it also leads her to make a devastating choice. Her decision to kill Beloved, rather than see her re-enslaved, raises difficult questions about the lengths to which we go for those we love. Slavery's Dehumanizing Impact Morrison illustrates how slavery destroys not only the body, but also the mind and spirit. The novel shows how the trauma of slavery lingers long after freedom is gained, affecting every aspect of life for those who endured it. One of the most powerful quotes from the novel is when Seth says, freeing yourself was one thing, claiming ownership of that freed self was another. This line encapsulates the emotional struggle of reclaiming one's identity after being dehumanized by slavery. Seth's journey is one of confronting her past and grappling with her identity as a mother. Her initial instinct is to keep her children safe at all costs, even if it means destroying herself in the process. As Beloved takes over her life, Seth's emotional state deteriorates, but by the end of the novel, she begins to find a glimmer of peace. Denver's character arc is equally compelling. Initially shy and withdrawn, she grows into a strong young woman who steps up to care for her mother and build a future for herself. Denver's transformation is a reminder that healing and growth are possible, even in the face of unimaginable trauma. Paul D's struggle is quieter, but no less important. He's a man broken by the dehumanizing system of slavery. And while he seeks solace with Seth, he ultimately realizes that he must confront his own demons if he's to move forward. Morrison's Beloved speaks to issues that are still deeply relevant today. The novel forces readers to reckon with the unresolved trauma of slavery and its lasting effects on society. Even though the institution has ended, the psychological scars remain, 
and Morrison challenges us to consider how we as a society address these wounds. In today's world where racial justice and historical reckoning are central topics, Beloved remains a crucial exploration of the lingering pain left by slavery and the necessity of confronting the past in order to heal. One of the things that makes Beloved so powerful is Morrison's writing style. Her use of a non-linear narrative mirrors the fragmented nature of memory, pulling readers into the emotional turmoil of her characters. The novel doesn't shy away from difficult topics but instead forces us to engage with them fully. A line that stayed with me was, This is not a story to pass on. This haunting phrase speaks to the complexity of telling stories about trauma, how they must be shared yet are so painful that we wish we didn't have to. Morrison's novel challenges us to remember even when it hurts. Beloved is a deeply emotional and powerful novel that examines the psychological scars left by slavery. Toni Morrison's exploration of memory, motherhood, and trauma is as relevant today as it was when it was first published. If you're looking for a novel that challenges you emotionally and intellectually, Beloved is a must-read. And here's a bonus tip for those who made it to the end. If you're interested in another gripping exploration of race and identity, check out our summary of Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison. You'll find the link to that video in the description below. Want to read this book? You can choose between the paperback version or the hardcover version, both links in the description below. Let's keep the conversation going in the comments. What part of Beloved moved you the most? Thanks for joining us, Book Foxes. If you enjoyed this summary, hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on more books simplified for your busy life. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. Books simplified, minds amplified. See you in the next summary.